Hey YouTubers, I am a Luminar partner and I am about to do a portrait edit for you. I just want you guys to remember that there's some specials and there's a link in the description with a discount and you guys should go get it and check out this software. It is pretty darn cool. That's why I decided to partner with these guys. It's really cool stuff. But stay tuned. I'm going to do an edit with Anne Claire. It's going to be a lot of fun. Look at that. Wow. Hey YouTubers, it's time for me to do an edit using Luminar AI. I'm going to do a portrait edit right now. I am going to go get a picture of Anne Claire. Gabrielle, I'm sorry, you are beautiful, but I'm going to do Anne Claire first. Anne Claire, we open her file up and uh, let's just look at this really quick. Uh, this was a photo taken with uh, uh, quite a lot of good, good photography equipment. Uh, as you can see, the look was very shiny. I am mentioning that right now because I don't want to get rid of that look. And within Luminar, you can get rid of shine off a face in portrait edit. But today, suffice to say, all we're going to do is go do a couple of one stop shop edits on this photo to get it looking just a tiny bit better. So let's take this edit right here. We are going to go right to the smiley face right here and go portrait. And right here in front of your face is all the things you need to make a portrait look better with a couple of button clicks and a couple of slider moves and you're going to be okay. I like to work with Skin AI first. So let me just take the Skin AI amount and slide it up and see what it does. Let's move that in so we can look at what it did. I will do an AB right here. This is after. This is before. This is after. This is before. So it's really doing a good job, especially on top of the nose here. See how it's evening out, but not too much. And you can pull this back if you want it to look a bit more natural. You can always pull this back. Now, as I was saying before, there's shine removal right here. Now, just so you can see my look, I really wanted it to be shiny. But here's what happens if you put shine removal up here. I'll pull this over. That's without can especially see the shine right here and this is with it takes that away it takes away the shine but i'm going to leave it there because i want my shine i think it looks kind of cool there you go that looks great now uh the next thing i'm going to do is go into face ai now you can play with face light i'll just show you what face light does really quick if you pull up face light you get light going on the subject itself so here's without Here's with brings, you know, portraits. It's always nice to get the light there. And in this case, I think it would be pretty nice. You can also play with slim face. Now, Anne is already very slim, but I just want to show you what it can do. As you can see, the AI does a really good job. And I have worked with a lot of other software. I don't want to name names, but this uh, Luminar AI is definitely the best at slimming a face because it seems to be able to know how to slim the face to make it look great and keep it looking fine. Now here's where we can have a lot of fun with the software. This is before, this is after, before, after. Take off the before and after. Here's uh, enlarge eyes. You can have a lot of people who are on Instagram like to enlarge eyes and make them a tiny bit bigger. I don't know, I guess it pulls in the viewer. I don't like to do that. Eye whitening will go take the white of the eye and it'll make it pop a tiny bit. See that happen? I'll just show you before and after. It's kind of cool to give you guys an idea. See the white of the eye. There you go. That's kind of cool. Let's bring that in so we can see. Let it load. That's really nice. It's very, very nice. Uh, I'm going to pull this down just a bit. I don't want to go too nuts, too dramatic. Pretty impeccable face anyways off the bat. Let's go to eye enhancer and pull this up. I'm going to pull eye enhancer all the way to the top so you can see what it's doing to the eyes. Here's before and here's after. Before, after. Quite striking. If you like this, you can do that. But I, again, always want to stay natural. So I'm just going to bring it up a bit. You have red eye removal. If ever you have red eye in some of your shots, you can always use this. Dark circles removal will always get rid of those little shadows you have under the eyeballs right here. So if you pull the dark circles removal up, it will take that away. In this case, we don't have a lot of that, so it's not going to do very much. Improve eyebrows is the same as doing dodge and burn, 
on the eyebrows like here you darken the eyebrows so if let me just move that up see what happens to the eyebrows to become more dramatic it's quite cool i'm gonna leave that like that i think that looks good improve the eyebrows i'm gonna bring it down uh, cool i think that's great now the next step i'm gonna do is go into i'm gonna go to my crop tool back up here composition I'm going to crop this square. I know it's a very weird what I'm about to do, but hey, what the heck? Let's go to Instagram. Let's put this stuff on Instagram, right? So if I crop square, you know what? I'm going to crop four or five. I like to do four or five for portraits. Go right on that face. Get it as tight as I can while keeping the shoulders. I'll click on that. Let it do the edit. And these are a couple of the general things. After I've gone through all this stuff that I've done in portrait, I always go to the little sunlight here and do some other stuff. But you'll see on the side there's a little dot, and what it, that dot is indicating to you is that you have just edited within uh, that, that part of the uh, software. So you go to this tab, uh, Enhance, Structure, Color. I don't touch any of that stuff. Denoise, Landscape, Vignette. I do apply vignette on portraits all the time because I find it focuses in on the subject. So when you do your vignette, you pull the uh, vignette amount down if you want to have it become dark. If you go up, it'll become a light vignette. I really like to go down quite a bit. The size, you can change the size of it, make it just on the edges like that. Make it tasteful. Huh? Not too crazy. So after I've done my vignette, what I do is I go into the creative tab. And in the creative tab, I like to go to mood. Mood used to be just called LUTs before, but now they put it here under mood. It has its own little thing. Now, what is a LUT? A LUT basically is a way of treating the colors within your photo. It's called a color lookup table. Now, you, I always increase this off the bat. Then I go down and I start playing with my different looks. Now, I really like the LUTs in um, Luminar, and Luminar AI is no exception. They're all really, really nice. Uh, they really give a tone and a feel, and I think Mood is a good name for this. E each one has its own little feel to it. So let me pick one that I always have always liked, and it is 1960 Beijing. I love, and I love Grace as well but I will pick Beijing for today. Now, I know it's very strong right now, so I'm going to pull it down just a bit. Let's go look at what the image looked like before and after. So it's really, it really has a nice feel to it, the whole image there. Let's see that. Very, yeah, very, very cool. That's very nice. Very good. Now, what you can do, and if you feel like it, you can go to Mystical. Mystical brings in a little sort of soft feel to everything. Now, I just want to show you what it can do. In this photo, portraits, it's not the thing you want to put in a lot of. Uh, what I advise to do, what I like to do is, as you can see, it's affecting the whole image and makes it a bit foggy and a tad tacky. But I really like what it's doing with the shoulders. So I'm going to mask and just put it on the shoulders. So I press the mask button. I paint mask. I'm going to paint mask here. I'm going to go in here, change the radius of my brush, make it just a bit smaller, make it a bit softer, make the opacity of the brush quite strong. And I'm just going to paint in. See the red? It shows you where the mask is coming in. Now, if I press paint, it goes. the mask comes in. If I press erase, it'll leave. You're taking it away. But you're always painting in or out the effect. There you go. So I'm just going to do her shoulders like that. I'm going to do some erase just on the side here so it doesn't go over her shoulders. It's affecting the background, which you don't want it to do. It's best that it overlap off the shoulder than onto the background. There you go. That is very nice. I think that's nice. Here, let me just do another. Very, very nice. I really like it. You guys, you can do a lot of stuff in Luminar, and this is a one-click edit. I didn't do that much, but I did improve this portrait. Hope you guys like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.